you know, this is your first week on the show. So yeah. I also want to get more, you know, know you better. And so okay. does everybody out there. So yep. I always do a top five list in the week. This mm -hmm. one, I want to do our top five players Ooh. of all time. So I will start with my Kay. top five players. Kay, Kay. And at number five, I have one that is going to surprise a lot of people. Don Kelly. Donnie Kelly, baby. Donnie <laughs> Kelly baseball. Detroit Tiger legend. Look, just the ultimate utility guy. But I'll tell a quick story here. When I was getting ready to go into the draft, uh, I remember going up to my pre-draft workout at Comer Comerica Park. He was there in the locker room. I had known him from my brother being on the team as well. And he came up to me and basically just pointed out, just, just don't put too much pressure on yourself. He really sat me down. He just said, have fun with this. Blah, blah, you know, gave me a bunch of tips. And, and you know, those are things you never forget. Mm -hmm. So him taking that time, he is an incredible human being. Uh, and was the ultimate utility guy. So it will forever be one of my favorite players. Let's move on to my number four, Chipper Jones. I grew up the biggest Atlanta Braves fan in the entire world. I'm from 10 minutes from Richmond, where their AAA team was at the time, the Richmond Braves. All the guys used to come through there. Uh, the Braves were on TBS every single night, and that's just how I fell in love with them. There was no Washington Nationals, so being from Virginia, it was the Braves for me. And Chipper was my favorite player. Walked up to crazy trains, switch hitter, infielder. I mean, he just, it was awesome. I, I loved him, and he was my favorite Atlanta Brave growing up. Let's move on to number three. Number three on my list, Shohei Otani. Because, of course, <laughs> he is on my list of my top favorite players of all time. Of course. I mean, let me look, look at this shirt. Um, look. We know the deal here. He does it. He does it all. I was when, in college. I was a two-way player myself. I pitched and I hit, and uh, I realized how difficult it is and how difficult it was for me. And to know that I'm arguably more impressed with what he does off of the field than what he does on the field, and that is saying something. And we're also best friends, so he's on this list. At <laughs> oh, we three. moved up. <laughs> Let's move on to number two. I have Mr. <laughs> Al Kaline of the Detroit Tigers. A little personal thing here as well. Just he was always like growing up, loving the game of baseball and loving the history of the game of baseball. I always wanted to be like him. Uh, obviously, a Hall of Fame baseball player, but a Hall of Fame person, and did so much for the community, so much, and um, really f for me as well. You know, uh, when I got drafted by the Tigers, uh, he was always there. We would eat lunch together in the in the cafeteria there. He would always give me tips, tell me stories about his life and his career. And those are things that I will never, ever remember. And just a few months before he passed away, he signed a jersey for me that I have framed in my house that I will forever, uh, that'll mean a lot to me forever. So great human, great player. He is my second favorite player of all time. But at number one, number one on the list and number one in my heart, my number one favorite brother, that is for sure, it is Justin Verlander. I mean, where do I need to go with this one? Uh, he's my brother. That's all you need to know. He's an MVP. He's a Cy Young pitcher. He's a Hall of Fame caliber baseball player, and he's a Hall of Fame caliber brother, and he is here at number one, rounding out my list. You might have gotten trouble if he wasn't number one. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to throw that out there. So for family ties and personal, it was the it's good you have him at number thank one. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay. Well, Alex, take it away. Thank you. Uh, we're a lot of yours are personal connections. I'm going to be honest. Every single one of my top five players of all time, I have a personal connection to. Oh, great. Okay. So starting with number five, Tim Salmon, Kingfish. I grew up watching him play for the Angels, all-star guy, but even better person. So when I joined the Angels broadcast, he's the guy who I'd sit down, have dinner with, worked my pregame shows with, sat, watched the entire game, and he kind of became a mentor to me and really – talked me through every aspect of the game, what guys are thinking when they're at the plate, what they're thinking in the outfield. He really gave me a behind-the-scenes look for a player at his level That's really cool. in the game. All right, moving on to number four, Torrey Hunter. He almost made my list. That smile. I, I, he was the first player, again, my first year with the Angels, who really took me under his wing. 
introduced me to all the players, made me feel welcomed in the dugout, in the clubhouse, really broke the ice for me and introduced me to everybody else. And then seeing what he did for Mike Trout as well, that first, his rookie season, really taking him under his wing, just incredible human. Better, yeah. like amazing baseball player, even better human. Yeah. Huge Tory Hunter fan. All right. Moving on to number three, Ken Griffey Jr. Oh, you got a personal connection here. I I'm do. Excited Not to, to hear Ken this Griffey Jr., oh, okay. right. but my husband and I <laughs> both shared our love for Ken Griffey Jr. in college, and it was like one of the, one of the things we bonded over and talked about. And anytime we have people over at our house, what we put on in the background are Ken Griffey Jr.'s all-time best <laughs> home runs. You can find a couple different 30-minute loops, and it is the best, the best thing to have on at your house during a party. I like that a lot. And yeah. the sweetest left hand, the prettiest swing of all time. I could watch that swing. Yeah. All day. And I do sometimes. <laughs> and leave it on and you forget and it's just on loop. So yeah. yeah. All right, moving on to number two, who was also on your list, Shohei Otani. How can you not? I got to be there for his rookie season, all the way through his MVP season, and just see him continue to make history. He is the kindest human, loves the game, and just embodies the perfect baseball player, which leads me to my number one, because he was the first all-star that I really got to cover and connect with, Mike Trout. His rookie season was my rookie season. I was the first one he talked to after he hit for the cycle when he won Rookie of the Year. That's they so cool. they flew me on a red eye to hang out with his family in Millville, New Jersey. So I spent the whole weekend with his family right when he found out he was going to be Rookie of the Year. There is just such a deep connection to his family and who he is as a person. Also someone who just absolutely loves the game. Got to be there for his first All-Star game. All of his big moments. And I am just such a big Mike Trout fan. I like your list a lot. This Thank is you. even more credit here to King Griffey Jr. for being the only non-angel. <laughs> I that, know. That makes it even a bigger deal that he cracked this list. So I like it a lot. Shohei Otani <laughs> makes both of our lists. And now you're a, now it's officially official. You've done a top five list on Flipping Bats. So, oh, uh, thank you. So now Feels good. 